Hi, welcome to Kebula introduction session. In this session, we will look into what Kebula is all about. We will talk about data operations platform, the core building blocks of any data operations platform and Kebula specifically, and we'll look into the typical use cases that Kebula can help you with. Data operations is data management practice focused on improving integration and automation of data flows across the organization. The goal is to deliver value faster. And that's the biggest and also most ambitious goal of any data operations platform, including Kebula. There are many definitions of data operations platform. We like to split it into individual core building blocks, which helps us to define all the necessary features and functions of data operations platform. The first one, and the real core, is a data hub. Kebula Data Hub allows you to integrate all the data from any sources that you have in your organization and to unify it at one place in one storage. To integrate the data, Kebula comes with a couple of basic components. The first component are extractors. Extractors help you to fetch the data from any database, storage or service and to load it into Kebula. As soon as you have the data in Kebula, you need to transform it. For that, there are transformations. Transformations allow you to work with the data in SQL, Python, R, or other languages that you choose. Then you can use writers if you need to write the data from Kebula back to your primary systems, databases, or storages, which is very useful in the cases when you need to write the data into some storage or database which is used for reporting, such as Tableau Server or others. Besides extractors, transformations, and writers, there is another type of component in Kebula, which is named application. Applications are used for more advanced data manipulation, which might be difficult to cover with the basic transformation. There is a long list of applications that already exist in Kebula, such as application for natural language processing, application for geocoding, data quality testing, and anomaly detection. All these components can be used to build an exhaustive data pipeline. Then you want to automate this data pipeline. For that, Kebula has an orchestrations. In orchestrations, you can just put together all the individual components and decide on how it should be automated. Should it be running every day, every minute, or should it be triggered by some event in your storage, maybe by some table being updated by another process? All this can be done while keeping a track of what is happening by setting up the notifications to let you know in case that something goes wrong. Data quality, security, compliance, all these topics are related to data governance. Data governance is a framework, is a set of rules and policies that you set in your organization on how to work with the data, who can do what, who can see what, and what are actually the rules in this environment. Kebula supports your data governance by providing heavy logging of any operation or user's activity within the platform, strong metadata for every data object, support of versioning, features or functions for data quality testing, functions for data sharing and collaboration, which is commonly named data catalog, and a separation of responsibilities and permissions and access permissions specifically. Data integration and automation, which you can do with Kebula Data Hub, can help you with a list of use cases such as reporting automation, which we will talk about later. There might be more advanced analytical exercises that you need to perform, such as development of machine learning model for customer segmentation. For this type of activities, there is a Kebula Data Science Lab. The core of a lab are workspaces. User can easily create a workspace in just a couple of clicks and can work in a flexible environment of SQL, Python, R, Spark, Julia, or others. Workspaces are running on a scalable backend, which means it can provide high enough performance for any kind of machine learning exercises you are about to perform. On top of that, the workspaces can be shared by multiple users, which makes the collaboration and sharing of best practices much easier. You can track and log the full life cycle of machine learning experiments and model development with Kebula's MLflow integration. 
Thanks to this integration, you are now able to deploy your machine learning models into production with just a couple of clicks directly in Kebula platform. So what are the typical use cases where you can use Kebula Data Operations platform? First category is automation. Sometimes it's very difficult just to automate a reporting because the data is spread among multiple data sources such as data warehouse, data lake, some file storage and other databases of primary systems that you might have in your ecosystem. Kebula can help you with that. You can easily integrate all the data together, develop the transformations and automate the data pipeline, ending with updated dashboard in Power BI, Tableau, Cognos, ClickView or any other tool. Data enrichment is another very typical use case for Kebula. So you might need to get additional information about your customers from Google Analytics, Adform or any other marketing tool which you can easily integrate with Kebula extractors. Or you might benefit from existing Kebula applications such as the one for geocoding, which you can use to automatically verify the validity of address provided to you by client. Another category of use cases, or maybe rather motivations to use Kebula platform is a data management. As I mentioned before, Kebula keeps a full track of what is happening inside of the platform by logging every user's activity and keeping a strong metadata of every object that is being created inside of the platform. Thanks to that, you can use an activity center which is a set of dashboards that help you to monitor what is actually happening in your data environment. This monitoring also helps to properly attribute the costs because you can see which department and specifically which user is doing what and how much it actually costs. The last category of use cases is anything related to data science. Maybe you need to develop a customer segmentation model to support your customer 360 activities or maybe you just want to develop a time series value prediction. Anything you want to do, you always need to track what you are doing. You need to be able to lock everything, to come back to your work, to collaborate on that, and at the end, deploy the machine learning model to production and really gain the added value. That's it. Thank you for being here. This was a general introduction into Kebula data operations platform. There is a full Kebula Academy available to you and your colleagues where we will guide you through all the individual parts of Kebula platform and we will teach you how to gain the value following the best practices that we have. See you next time and have a good day.